Nebraska Extension entomologist Tom Hunt said soybean aphids were found in several fields in northeast Nebraska towards the end of July. Tom said hot weather helped keep numbers lower, but populations can increase quickly. Nebraska Extension entomologist Bob Wright says it's important to remember the economic threshold for damage before deciding to treat for aphids. We're just starting to see the initial uh, colonization in soybean fields, particularly in northeast Nebraska where we have more aphids. So it's not, nothing to panic now, but get out and start checking your fields for soybean aphids. They don't like hot weather. If we have temperatures in the 90 as, as we're forecast to in the future, that will slow their reproduction. If it stays in the 80s, that's more favorable for their reproduction. And if we have favorable temperatures, they can reproduce relatively quickly. The threshold for soybean aphids on reproductive stage soybeans is 250 aphids per plant. And uh, we want to use that threshold because there's a lot of natural enemies that are out there that help us control soybean aphids. Even if we have 100 aphids per plant, the natural enemies may be able to keep it below the threshold. And if we spray early, we're just going to kill off the natural enemies and allow the soybean aphids to reproduce faster. On the Market Journal website, we'll link to more information about soybean aphids from Nebraska Extension.